I'm Brittany Bloomer and I'm here tonight at Star Bar to celebrate the first Australian premiere of Solar Revolution. Now the big question here tonight is does the sun have the power to transform humankind? I'm going to go around and ask everyone here what their views are on this and get their opinions. I'm standing next to James, the producer of Solar Revolution. Now can you please tell us a bit about this? Oh Brittany, look, our guests here this evening are in for an absolute treat. It's taken a couple of years actually to put this film together and wow, what an incredible journey our audience members are in for tonight. Does the sun impact humanity on Earth and the ecology of the planet? This film will really answer some of those questions and maybe question the truth of reality itself. Perfect. It sounds very engaging. I can't wait to watch it. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. Welcome. Now, standing right next to me is Mariana, who's from a UFO research centre. Can you tell me a bit about what goes on here? Yes. Um, we run, we're an organisation run by volunteers and um, we run monthly meetings and we invite speakers sometimes from interstate but also local speakers and the idea is really to um, to give people information about whether we're being visited by extraterrestrials uh, and what else is going on in the world. Hi, I'm here with John who's got a simple unified hypothesis of the multi-universes. Now can you please expand on this and tell us more about it? Okay, so I have a simple unifying hypothesis of, of the multi-universes, which means that's from everything from the very, very beginning, well before the Big Bang, until the very, very end yes. of existence. And this is at a high level, and I'm interested to see how this solar revolution fits in with that at the detailed level, because the sun, even though it's quite important to us, very important, it's just one small cosmic body in the overall universe and it's good to see how everybody fits in. Now John is one of the very keen viewers of Solar Revolution tonight and he's had his very own UFO experiences. Can you tell us about one in particular? Well the, the latest one I had was uh, last year. I went to enroll at Randwick Technical College and um, when I had finished my business I went to a bus stop and um, there was a light in the sky uh, in the distance from way above the road and um, I thought I'm, I thought to myself oh it must be a star but it's a it's a bit bright because it's about 3 30 in the afternoon so uh, I'm standing there watching it and I'm looking down the road for the bus and started to move her uh, towards uh, Centennial Park anyway as it moved to, uh, towards Centennial Park it actually came closer so I was able to see it was shaped like um, like it like a can you know and uh, it started I noticed it was revolving actually because the light was reflecting off it there with the Sun and that usually happens if you have a revolving object Hi, I'm sitting next to Megan who's a crop circle researcher and public presenter now she spent a lot of time researching the ancient civilizations studies of the Sun now, can you tell me a bit more about this yeah sure just about every ancient indigenous culture worshipped the Sun it was the Egyptians, the Maya, the Inca, the Native Americans, the Japanese and um, they all understood the sun as the great engine of evolution and certainly the Mayan calendar is an amazing example, the most recent example of this amazing cosmologies that these ancient indigenous cultures have. 